for this demonstration I created some test patterns which are free to download from our website. Just drag and drop the plugin on your clip or in this case the layer. You will instantly see some changes to your clip indicating that Mapper is working. To give you a quick overview of how it actually works, let's go over the parameters. We're starting with a 2560 by 1080 canvas to explain the process. The first option displays a grid, which is convenient if your composition is larger than your clips. This is just so you know there is an empty space surrounding the clip you are mapping. Let's leave this on for now. After this you can name your slice to give it some meaning. The mode makes sense once we go over the other parameters. The next parameter is self-explanatory, it fades the slice in and out. Next are the position sliders to freely move the slice wherever you want. Next are the width and height controls that work smart by scaling the content while adjusting these. This is better illustrated if we increase the input scale to fill the canvas. Now by increasing the height not only makes it taller but also scales the content to match the height. Next are the input X and Y positions and scale. As the name says this will move and scale the content inside the boundaries in place. Jumping back to mode, this one consists of four modes. One is normal, which is the default. Second is copy over X, which will mirror the slice to the other side. Third does exactly the same as the second option, but will flip the copied slice. The fourth option is a special one. In this case, it will make a copy on the exact opposite side, but will look on the opposite side of the input. Moving the input X slider makes it clearer what is actually happening. The black background will make a solid black behind the slices in case you want to stack slices on top of each other. Let's fade the second slice and put it on top. And move it a little bit out of the way. Now the opacity slider reveals the first slice. In case we don't want that you can easily enable black BG on the second slice to hide what is underneath. Just note that the black background will remove if the opacity drops to zero. That's it for the quick explanation and thank you for watching. For more information head over to our website www.division.net.